sitting right there with nothing better to do than watch Trucker Josh eating matzo sticks. So good. Mm. So it is a very wet day. And somebody went and found themselves a puddle and got themselves all muddy and wet. I don't know who. But I've been cleaning the truck non-stop all morning. <laughs> You're finally dry, buddy. I am so sorry. So sorry the puddle. It looks, it looks so fun. I love puddles. Whoa, that didn't work. One second. Nope, not what I was going for. Here we go. Oh, yep, there it is. Now we're ready for the day. We're here in uh, somewhere in Illinois. Where? Where in Illinois? I told you yesterday, didn't I? Do you remember? I don't remember. Where are we? Oh, yeah. Minonk. Minonkadonk. Minonk, Illinois. And we're just far enough away from home that I can't make it home on my hours by tomorrow. So I've been recapping hours for the last couple of days. I can only drive about six hours a day. I'm trying to get home. I would have just reset and then driven full days home, but I wouldn't have gotten home any earlier. And I'm getting a reset once I get home anyways. So I figure, oh, let's just do a little bit every day. Let's get ourselves home. So six hours every day. Today we have five hours and 13 minutes available to us. Tomorrow we have six hours and 42 minutes. And that's gonna get us to within about an hour to an hour and a half of the Canadian border. Then we're gonna have to stop and wait until the next day, which is Wednesday, when we can go home. So it's been a little bit of a slow ride getting home, but I mean, that's good. That means I've been working hard this week and I've been using up all my hours and that hasn't happened in a long time. It's been a long time since I've had to reset on the road or that I've actually ran out of hours. So it means I'm working, that's good. So let's get out there on these rainy highways. We've done the pre-trip, everything's ready to go. Let's get trucking. Top ourselves up with a little bit of water. Got our coffee. We got some Krispy Kreme powder donuts over there, but don't mind those, don't mind those. Those are for later. Okay. Put her in gear, release the brakes. Everything is ready to go. Some people are wondering what this thing is up on my dash. That's my antenna for my satellite radio, but there's nowhere on this truck to mount it because these mirrors are different than the other truck. So I've got to get my other mount that I have in my pickup truck back at home so that I can hook that up on the roof. It's a little magnet and then I can use my satellite radio. It's been a very quiet trip because I've had no radio. But uh, we've been making do, we've been making do. Me and Karen have been uh, keeping each other company here. She's annoying though. She thinks she knows everything. She's, don't worry, we're still friends. Lock the door so we don't fall out. Diesel, you ready? Here we go, bud. Lights are on. All right, let's get out of here. So we stayed at this Road Ranger. That was a good night. We we're here for about, uh, well, 13, 14 hours because I can only drive, what, five or six hours a day now. Uh, so it's kind of nice. You can have extra long evenings and breaks, but at the same time, I'd like to get home. What can you do? Can't wait till all the restaurants open back up. You know, I'm not much of a restaurant guy. I don't eat out a lot. Uh, I usually just eat in my truck. But every now and then, like on payday or something, I treat myself and I go and, you know, eat out at a restaurant and sit down. Turn right on. West Chestnut Street, CR2 and then take the entrance to the right of 230 meters. And I miss being able to do that already. So hopefully soon, hopefully soon, everything seems to be reopening now, so shouldn't be long. I think everyone's anxieties are sort of calming down for the most part. This guy's got a boat. There's so much water everywhere, you can just go boating in the field, buddy. Believe me, my dog found out the fun way how much water there is out in there. In 200 meters, take the entrance to the right on I-39 North US 51 North. All right.
right, here we go. Oh, feels good to be rolling again. Five hours and 12 minutes until we have to end our day. I don't know where we're gonna make it to. Probably close to Minneapolis, I'm thinking. Maybe still in Wisconsin. Maybe we'll get to Roberts, Wisconsin just before the border there. I don't know, man. Oh boy, this looks like it's gonna be fun today. At least it's not snow. At least it's not snow, right? Heads up, everybody, I'm on the road. Everybody stay out of the way. Continue on this road for 147 kilometers. Oh, it's even worse out here, look at this. Diesel, look at this, man. You're not tracking dirt all over the truck again, are you? We've made our way into the great state of Wisconsin. Weather's a little different here than in Georgia. Trees have, well, there's some trees over there that have budded already. The grass is green already, but it's, it's getting less and less green as we head north. I have an hour and 57 minutes available to me on this clock here yet. I don't think I'm gonna use all of it. So do I gotta be in this? I think I gotta be in that lane. This guy beside me, he's coming past me. He's so scared to be driving in the rain. He's been all over the road. He doesn't have his headlights on. Are you gonna make it past, bud? You gonna be all right? Just hanging, no plates either. Hanging onto the steering wheel for dear life. Oh wait, no, I wanna be in this lane. I don't know what lane I gotta be in. Two lanes continue through. But that lane ends. Okay, so okay, so this lane's one of the ones that we can stay in. Okay. Continue on this road for 102 kilometers. So many people don't remember to turn on their lights when they're driving in weather like this. They're just asking to have an accident. We can't see you. The lights aren't for you. They're for us, so that we can see you. If I suddenly need to make a quick lane change because there's a, a cop or emergency vehicle on the shoulder up ahead or something and I need to get into that lane, I look into my mirror and I see all the rain mist, I don't see anybody there, I start moving over, suddenly I hear a crunch. Oh, well if you would have had your headlights on, I would have known you were there. Now we're both having a bad day. But whatever. Hopefully people will remember. I like these vehicles. Almost all vehicles nowadays come with automatic headlights. I wish the semi came with this. My, my truck here doesn't, but both our vehicles at home have it. And it seems like a lot of people don't use that feature or don't know what it's for. You can just put it on the auto feature and your lights will turn on for you. And they'll turn off again. Huh. Pretty sure all vehicles have that nowadays. The other than that, we're gonna go up to Black River Falls here in Wisconsin, out of the Flying J there. It's a popular stop for us. We're gonna stop there for tonight and tomorrow we'll have about seven hours left. Cause we'll still have about a half hour left on this clock yet today yet. Mr. Popo, what you doing? Taking pictures of me? You gotta warn me, bud. I could have been smiling. One of them candid pictures. Oh yeah, so uh, I won't get quite home tomorrow. I am hoping we can make it to Fargo, North Dakota tomorrow. Look at that same guy I was telling you about before that gets so scared. He's been in the left lane for the past like half hour. He's in the left lane up there again. And he's plugging up that whole lane. He refuses to move into the right lane. So he just plugs up that whole lane. I think a lot of people don't realize the effect they have on the traffic around them with the way they drive. You know? If you're going slow in the left lane, you're messing up traffic for a lot of people. For everybody, everybody. The flow of traffic is totally set off then by one vehicle.
at the end of the day. It doesn't feel like it, but we have 24 minutes available to us to park. We're here in Black River Falls, Approaching Wisconsin. Approaching destination in 300 meters. I know that, right Karen. I was just telling them. But I know you want to be a part of everything, every part of my life. I understand. in here there should be lots of parking at this time of day right you have arrived at your destination on the right side flying j travel plaza number 756 here we are one of my favorite stops we're stopping early enough that we should not have any problem finding parking Shh. excuse me but somebody's been a good boy. Do you know who? Who's been a good boy? Probably the guy who left all these crumbs around here from his treat. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. So here we are, everybody. It's been a short day. Unfortunately, tomorrow will be another short day, but that's okay. We're slowly getting there. We found ourselves a nice parking spot here. Lots of space. Got this neighbor over here on this side as well, but... Lots of space. It'll be a nice quiet night. I'm going to uh, run in, have a shower, take care of a few things, and stretch out in this ginormous bed here and get a good night's sleep so we can have another short day tomorrow. I'm not quite going to get to the border. I'm thinking we'll probably get to Fargo. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe Grand Forks. We'll see. But it is what it is. So I'll see you then, right? right here on my YouTube channel, Trucker Josh Vlogs. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. See you tomorrow.